Hi everyone and happy Tuesday. Um, I am coming to you on this rainy, kind of gloomy day slash week, it looks like, um, to bring you something kind of simple today, actually. So I know, like, we can get in the habit of reading the Bible and we're reading it just to read it and it feels like something we need to do. But I have loved, loved the moments and the times in my life where reading the Bible doesn't feel like a chore or a job so much as it feels like something I delight in and long after. And so I wanted to read a portion of Psalm 119 um, because it talks a lot about delighting in God's words. And um, I just wanted to sort of bring that mindset back of like, truly delighting in God's word. So I will be reading verses 57 to 80. Okay. It says, the Lord is my portion. I have promised to keep your words. I have sought your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I thought about my ways and turned my steps back to your decrees. I hurried, not hesitating to keep your commands. Though the ropes of the wicked were wrapped around me, I did not forget your instruction. I rise at midnight to thank you for your righteous judgments. I am a friend to all who fear you, to those who keep your precepts. Lord, the earth is filled with your faithful love. Teach me your statutes. Lord, you've treated your servant well, just as you promised. Teach me good judgment and discernment, for I rely on your commands. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and you do what is good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant have smeared me with lies, but I obey your precepts with all my heart. Their hearts are hard and insensitive, but I delight in your instruction. It was good for me to be afflicted so that I could learn your statutes. Instruction from your lips is better for me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands made me and formed me. Give me understanding so that I can learn your commands. Those who fear you will see me and rejoice, for I put my hope in your word. I know, Lord, that your judgments are just and that you have afflicted me fairly. May your faithful love comfort me as you promised your servant. May your compassion come to me so that I may live, for your instruction is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame for slandering me with lies. I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you, those who know your decrees, turn to me. May my heart be blameless regarding your statutes so that I will not be put to shame. I'm just going to stop here because this is just a portion of what the author of this psalm is saying. But over and over and over again, he says, teach me, teach me, teach me so that I can have understanding, so that I can know, so that I can turn back to you. And I love his heart just to learn from God and knowing that it's better. It's better than any wealth. It's better than anything else that the world could offer. Um, and I just want to have that heart um, about it as well. And so this has just been convicting me, inspiring me, and I hope it does the same for you. Thanks.